Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is using tape diagrams uh, to show uh, a ratio and then, and then to find equivalent, uh, equivalent ratios to the given ratio. I know it sounds a little confusing, but basically, here's what it looks like. We have Shani and Mel, and they're using a ribbon to decorate an, an art project uh, in class. Uh, the ratio of the length of Shani's ribbon to that of Mel's ribbon is 7 to 3. So the tape diagram is going to look like this. We have Shani. And we have uh, Mel. And the ratio is 7 to 3. 7 for Shani and 3 for Mel. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, just so I don't get confused, I'm going to underline 1, the corresponding ratios. 1 on the line goes for Shani, and she goes with the 7. And Mel, he gets 2 on the lines, and the coordinating uh, value is 3 for that, so that'll get on the line twice as well. Now I'm going to show it as a tape diagram. So Shani... She gets seven units. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Mel gets three. So for every three for Shani, Mel gets, oh, excuse me, every seven for Shani, Mel gets three. Um, so here's my tape diagram of that length. The beauty of that is I can now uh, calculate all kinds of fun things. So, for example, let's just say that uh, the length of each unit here, and these are units, where the value of each unit is 2. 2 inches, 2 meters, doesn't matter. From that, we can absolutely find out the total length of each of their ribbons. Shani, in this case, would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, let's say inches. And for Mel, it would be 2, 4, 6, let's say 6 inches. Okay. Now, we can have some fun. Uh, I'm going to use a different color here, but we can have fun another way as well. We can say, for example, um, I can provide a total. Let me do it that way. I can provide a total. Let's just say that Mel has a total of, or his ribbon length is a total of 24 yards. Okay. From that, we can deduce that because we have three units and the total is 24, 24 divided by 3 gives me 8. That means the value of each unit is now 8. Now, from that, we can say that, hey, wait a minute, all of these units are the same size. All right, so the value of each unit is the same size. So if this guy, these guys down here are 8, that means they're all 8, even these guys up here. And from that, we can now find out the total, or the equivalent ratio, uh, for Shani. So we have 24. Now, since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sets of 8, 8 times 8 gives me 64 total yards. Now, the original uh, ratios are now equivalent. We have a 7 to 3 ratio, and that's equivalent to my, what did I have before, 14 uh, to 6, okay, 14 to 6 ratio, and the one we just came up with was a 64 to 24 ratio. And again, those are all equivalent, okay? So that's the deal. That's what we worked on today. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.